I don't know, it's the only one that kept coming in my mind, so I was like, I can't fight the Holy Spirit. Soap, hey, how do you spell soap? We're like, S-O-P-E, soap. Ah, oh, dang. Welcome back to the soap episodes at Big River Bible Camp. If you guys don't remember me, my name is Kaylee. I have worked here for a few summers now. You might remember me the first year taking a lot of pictures and videos. And now I'm even roped into LIT leading. So my LITs out there will remember doing dishes with me and all the fun cleaning stuff. So. I'm excited to be here and to share God's word with you. So with these soap methods, maybe this is new for you. This is actually new for me. Don't be afraid. You can follow along with me also be new. It's okay. We'll navigate this together. So with the soap methods, we will start with S, which stands for scripture. So the scripture I am going to read today is Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to... 27. Yeah, that's how far I'll go. So it says, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? So that's the scripture. Now for O, that stands for observation. So after reading those few verses, one of the things that I observe is the fact that Jesus, so these are Jesus' words, and he doesn't just stop at, don't be anxious about your life. He actually gives examples like what to eat, drink, your body, what you're wearing, like all those things. In other words, there is no excuse. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing he wants you to be anxious about. And he even goes as far to just explain to us like our value. So it's not that he's just telling us, okay, don't be anxious. It's like, like, don't forget, I care so much for you. you. You have more value than the birds, and I take care of the birds. Um, so why, why wouldn't I take care of you? You are made in my image. And that, that's his love for us so much. He, he made us in his image. He loves us. He cares for us. Of course, he's going to take care of us. And even if we maybe don't believe that, like God, God is in full control. It, it says in the last verse that, you know, being anxious isn't going to add a single hour to our life. And so we know that it doesn't matter how much we're worrying, that it's not going to change anything. So why, why would we put that stress and that pressure on ourselves when we're not in control anyway? If anything, that is super relieving to know that. Um, so those are just a few observations I have. And now with the A, the A stands for application. And so after reading that, the way that we can apply that is, I mean, by one, not to be anxious, but we, we can give those anxieties to the Lord. It's not just, okay, I'm gonna stop. It's, we can bring that to, to Jesus. We can tell him our worries in life and we can just surrender that to him. We can give that to him because we know he cares for us. He's, he's said that to us. And again, just having trust that he will take care of us because he is in control. So it's just releasing all the anxiety to him and just trusting that he has control. So now at the end of SOAP, we have P, which stands for prayer. And we honestly, we can't understand God's word without him. So we need to be in relationship with God. We need his help to understand this. And, and hopefully we, we're not interpreting this wrong, that we're taking the context right, but we need God's wisdom. And that's why we need to pray. We need to pray and ask him um, and that he will help us apply these words into our life. So let's just pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much 
for this opportunity to read your word. Thank you that you have given it to us, that you speak to us through it. Lord, thank you for even just the simplicity of it in a lot of ways. Um, Lord, you know we are <laughs> weak human beings and there's a lot that we worry about and we get anxious about and we, we try to take control. And Lord, I pray that you would help us to release those things to you, that we will be honest with you and that we would just allow your words to shape us. And God, help us to understand them. Help us to interpret it and to seek wisdom from others, from you, just to know know how to understand the Bible and, and to apply it well. I just pray all these things in your name. Amen.